Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Ecostructure Machine Expert Training. I'm your host Leandro Mada and in this video what we're going to talk about is the piece tablets that we have in the software. So let's go to the presentation. So um, as I mentioned before, I'm going to focus in three different languages. Okay, another CFC and extractive test. So we can see here how we can use this set reset and reset set on the software. Um, these function blocks that you can see on the screen, let me just put the pen over here. These function blocks, they are not the standard functions because they need an instance. That's why you can see the question marks above all of them. Okay. This function blocks belongs to a library called standard. Okay, as you can see over here, and as all of the libraries that we have, you can use the namespace of the library and then use the dot and then define the function block that you want to use. In this case, using the standard is not mandatory, so you can call directly the name of the function without using the library as I show you over here. If you want to use this kind of function blocks, it is important that you need to add the instance. And depending on the function block, you need to call this in a different way. So you can use a GBL or you can use uh, the local variables inside the PUU to call it. And basically what you need to do is to define a name for this instance of the function block. I usually use inst as a nomenclature just to know that this instance of the function block. All the people use FB and then the name that they want. But it's up to you which is the name that you want. Then once you define the name, you have the two dots, okay, and then you can use the name of the library dot the function block or just the name of the function block. In this case, it's not mandatory. So you can see over here in the ladder, you just drag the box that you want and then use as R or RS, or you can use here in the toolbox the function block RS as R. As R. Then on the instruction test, it's a little bit different, okay? That you will need to define the instance and then call the instance, okay? And then you should be able to see all the inputs and outputs. The input parts you can see over here are all these ones. And the output part are all this. Okay, an easy way to identify which is the input and output. It depends on the these icons that you have next. Okay, this one will be output of the function block, and this one is going to be an input on the function block. Okay, so if we continue with this, this is just an idea what is the main purpose of the inputs and outputs that we have on the function block this one if you have the as er, the the set output is going to be the dominant okay and if you're using the rs the reset will be the dominant and you can see on the dominant part of the input you have the number one there is the first one so now let's try to create a function block in any uh, language and then we can see the behavior of these function blocks so if we open our project, this is the one we worked in the last part of the training. Let's use the CFC and here to just have the box, the toolbox. Here we just need to drag into our project. Okay, you can specify a standard dot rs. Okay, here you have the possibility to create the instance rs. Rest, or you can use whatever you want. Whatever I want. The name of the instance. When you click on this way, you have the assistant of the decoration. You can use the it it would define automatically the type, which is the standard RS. And in the top, it should create the variable. Oops. The variable over here. So now, another way to do it is, for example, set reset. And I'm going to call it over here. I'm going to create it 
in this part. So um, boom instance set reset. Just to show you that I can use different name. As, uh, SR. So here I should need to copy this and paste it. Okay. If we use the structure test, just quick. If you want to assign um, instance, you just go right click over here, input assistance. In the categories, I recommend you to go instance called and then select the instance that you have already defined. In that way, it will complete with the different fields that you have. Let me just show you quick with another one. This one, it will add all the inputs and outputs. So you don't need to add it manually. So let's change the visualization to this one and go back to the CFC. So I have already created these two function blocks. So X uh, set one, set input, put it on the side, X reset, put it on the side, and Q, uh, QSR, so you can see the behavior of this. And if you're using CFC, depend on how is the um, configuration of the execution, okay, it will change the numbers that you have. And you can use the execution order and order by data floor to automatically assign the execution of the function blocks. Except automatic create and put in this way and x reset one so we can analyze the behavior of this and this one could be qrs Oops. so now let's simulate here in order to simulate you just need to go online select simulation and then you can log in okay so let's start with the set reset so if i set this in true okay you can see this one in true i'm trying to reset so this one is going to be off and i can't reset from here okay so now what happened if i bought a tenant and true the indication will have the one that's dominant in this case is set so if i set this it's going to be set even if i go over here it's reset and i'm going to try to reset again it just doesn't matter because the dominant is the set so if we pay attention now to the rs so let's try to do the same going to reset this it's already reset but i'm going to reset it reset as the reset is dominant even if i set something here it just go to zero okay so basically this is how it works this set reset and reset set inside the machine expert we have already compared how to use in the cfc but it's the same behavior on ladder and it's the same behavior in structure test the only different structure test is that you need to create the instance first and then you can call it so it's going to be much easier to implement so this is it for the these tables in the software thank you very much for watching this video and i see you on the next one